welcome to my video. I mean, this is more of an intro to what I plan on doing, which is talking about slash reviewing some of the big finish audios that are on Spotify because I haven't, I don't have access to all of them, which sucks, especially in regards to the Eighth Doctor's um, plays. Speaking of which, I'm going to start with the eighth, the first Eighth Doctor season of, well, of the Big Finish audios, which is Storm Warning up to the total mindfuck that is the grayest. Among many things, I will be reviewing um, what is what could easily be regarded as Big Fish Finish's Golden Child, which is Chimes of Midnight, a Robert Shearman audio. Oh, and by the way, as a side note, if you want to listen to a good audio, um, a Big Finish audio, look. To check to make sure it's Robert, either Robert Shearman or Mark Platt. You more often than not, Shearman is the better option because of stuff like Chimes of Midnight, Jubilee, which is um what is the first um season of the revival series episode Dalek is roughly based off of, um Holy Terror, which is. Which can be pretty funny. Plus, it has Frobisher, um, Holy Terror, which is the, which is a shape shifting penguin that also happens to be a private eye. If that doesn't um, make you interested, I don't. There's something wrong with you, because it is Frobisher is easily one of the best. Um, Doctor Who companion, companions of the Doctor, because he's a shape. I'm oh, sorry, I lost my balance. Because he's a shape shifting um, mesomorph. It's technically a species or whatever. That is a private eye. I will start off reviewing the first season of the Eighth Doctor audio plays, which is everything from the um, from Storm Morning. All the way to the best, uh, and this is the, in my opinion, and honestly, most people's opinion is the best way to describe it. Total mindfuck of a story. Um, after that, I'll actually I might um, or be, you know yeah I'll do the Eighth Doctor adventures sprink um, while also sprinkling in the. Um, must listens like Jubilee, Robert, like, well, fill in the Robert Shearman, um, audio there. Like I said, well, like I said, um, Robert Shearman plays such as Holy Terror, Jubilee, Chimes of Midnight, along with Mark Platt's Spare Parts, which is easily the best story, well, Cyberman story. In all of the universe, because not only does it use take advantage of the fact that these Cybermen are essentially what happens when humans or humanoids, mostly humans, um, take um, the whole idea of survival a little too far and become unrecognizable. Um, that holy terror. Sorry, like I said, I'm looking at the Jubi Jubilee. Brilliant Dalek story. Um, well, actually, Jubilee, Blood of the Daleks, parts one and two. I Davros, which is a four part story that actually leads into the very iconic Fourth Doctor um, episode, uh, serial Genesis of the Daleks, which actually introduced. Reduced um, Davros into the universe of Doctor Who. Let's see. Um, yeah, um, that and uh, 
transmit like like I said, just anything in my opinion, anything with Robert Shearman is a must listen. For uh more in depth reviews if um if I feel like my review well if I personally feel like my review isn't good enough, I will be linking the playlist to Stu Bagful's Wolf Stu Bagful and Council of Geeks playlist for the Big Finish audios. And for my reviews of the first season of the Eighth Doctor audio plays, along with, like I said, the must listens slash um, audios that I enjoy throughout, so that you're not just spammed with uh, Eighth Doctor audios. I will also be doing. Maybe not reviews of every uh, Eighth Doctor Adventures audio. That is not to be confused with the Eighth Doctor plays from, like I said, the first season, which is Storm Warning to the Grayus, um, the Divergent Arc, and everything else. The EDAs are technically not the reboot, but... Um, the I guess you could say retooling, um, so that the eighth dot, so that the audios can be more like the big fi- the not big finish, the Doctor Who revival series, which came out two years prior, um, so that people can listen to the greatness of Big Finish, and so it's an easier stepping on point. Unless, of course, you, you like the original series, which is Hartnell through, actually, technically, um, McGann, which is the Eighth Doctor. As much as McGann is technically a part of the original series because of the 1996 TV movie that is viewed as less than good, which is accurate, um, I like, I don't quite consider him. Uh, the a part of the original series, he is, but I like to, um, I view him more as the midpoint between the original and revival, because one, the original series had been off the air for like eight or so years at this point, well at the point that it came out, and um, in the opening, it um, gave us the time vortex as a physical thing. Well, a physical presence, which you see in the Revival series. So that's why I kind of consider him a little bit above. Stay tuned for my review of Doctor Who Storm Morning.